So friends, welcome back to our channel Learn with Gigs. In today's video, I will cover up one more scenario-based question which was asked in the Power BI interview at KPMG India, which is a big four firm, you know. And this question I have collected from one of my connections on LinkedIn. Okay, so let us proceed with the solution. And before that, if you are new to the channel, then do subscribe it and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the coming useful videos. Okay, so as you can see on the screen, we have the inventory details of a product. We have different uh, three columns, week column, uh, we have a total demand column, we have a total supply column, okay? And we have six different weeks. So we have different total demands of that particular product in different weeks, okay? And we have the total supply of that product in two particular weeks. Now the interviewer asked, how can you create a measure which can show me that this particular product is in stock or out of stock in that particular week? For example, if you can see in the, in the week number one, we have total supply of 500 and we have total demand of 100. So the product is in stock. If you go to the second week, we have a total demand of 200. So 100 plus 200 total 300 is the total demand and we have total supply of 500. Still the product is in stock, right? And if you go ahead with the third row, it will be out of stock. Similarly, you have to create this for other records also. So how will you create a measure for this? Okay, so I will tell you how we can do this using a very powerful DAX function that is window function that was recently introduced. So first of all, we have to create a running total demand measure first. And then when we will do that, then we will have the total demand till every particular week. So let us proceed with first running total demand. And then we will try to create that measure, which will tell me that if it is in stock or if it is out, out of stock. Okay. So let me create that uh, measure first. So I will name this measure as running total demand. Okay. Now here I will make use of calculate function. Okay. Now under calculate function, my first expression will be, will be the sum of demand. Okay. So that is already I have created that is sum of demand. So I will just make use of the demand measure, which is just the sum of demand column. Now the next argument is the filter argument. And so for that, we will make use of window function here. So I will type window function here. So this is my window function. So here you have to keep in mind its parameters. How does it function? So if you can see here, we have different parameters that we have to define here. We have a from parameter. We have a from type, we have two, we have two type, we have relation, we have order by and we have partition by. So here we will focus on the first five parameters, okay, till the relation, the order by and the partition by uh, arguments you can ignore for now. It can be used for any other particular scenario, but here we will focus on first five parameters and how with the help of these five parameters, we can create this measure of running total demand. Okay, so let us do that. So the first argument is from. Okay, so from which row you have to start your calculation. So I will start from row number one. Okay, now after row number one, I will type it as whether it is absolute row number or whether it is relative row number. Okay, relative means you have to move up or down as with respect to the number specified. And absolute means it is the index number, whether we have to start from the beginning of the partition or whether we have to start from the end of the partition. Since we will not be defining any partition by uh, argument here. So my whole table will be my single partition. Okay. So keep that in mind. So here I will make use of absolute. Okay. Absolute means my window will start from row number one. Okay. Now the next argument is the third argument, which I will define it as zero. Why zero? Because I have to stick to that particular row. Like it is the two argument, right? So I have to start from row number one and I have to stick to that particular row. That is the current row. Okay. Now, once you are done with that, so we have to define which type of zero, either absolute or relative. So here I will type it as relative. Okay. Because I have to stick to that particular row that is the current row and that will be zeroth position, right? So I hope it is clear till now. So this is our first four parameters. So these are very powerful. So in your particular use cases, you have to define these particular four parameters and with respect to this only your whole calculation will be based. Okay. So for, for our scenario, we are uh, creating running total demand using window function. So these four parameters we will define like this. And I hope it is clear to know how it is working. Now the next parameter is, or the next argument is the relation. Relation is the table expression. The, that, that means the fifth argument that we have to provide is a table expression. So here I will make use of all selected. Okay. All selected. You can make use of all also. That is also perfectly fine. So here, I, but I am using all selected. It's up to you, all or all selected. It is just to ignore all the existing filter context. Okay. Now, now which column we should define under this? We should define under this is week column. 
because this is the main column on which we are dependent right we have to create a measure on the basis of different weeks we have so here we are considering inventory week okay now we'll close the bracket here for all selected now i will not include other arguments that is order by and partition that i have already told i will close the bracket for calculate also now let us see what does the result comes out to be let me pull this measure on our table as you can see here it is giving me running total demand means in week number 1 we have 100 total demand in week number 2 we have total 300 that is 200 plus 100 in week number 3 we have total demand of 400 plus 200 plus 100 that is 700 similarly the other calculation okay so now we have the total demand in every particular week okay that is the running total demand now similarly we have to create for total supply also and then we have to compare if it if the demand is greater than supply then then it is out of stock if it is less than supply then it is in stock so what i will do i will redefine this measure or modify this measure only so that we can create our main measure so for that what i will do i will just redefine this okay so what for that what i will do i will uh, make this under a variable and i will define the name of the variable i will name it as demand okay so demand is equal to this much similarly we have to calculate for supply okay for supply we will again define a variable and what i will do i will copy paste this particular code only okay now here what change i have to do i will make use of supply measure that is simply the sum of supply column okay and the other things will remain the same right now we have the total demand we have the total supply for every week we have and then we have to compare so what i will do i will return okay so what i will return i will return so if the demand so this is the demand variable so if the demand is greater than supply okay so this is the supply that we have created if the demand is greater than supply then name it as out stock or out of stock else give me that it is in stock okay i hope it is clear to you now when the demand is greater than supply means we have more demand and supply is less then obviously it will be out of stock else it will be in stock now let us see if this measure give us the right result and also i will rename this measure to our inventory output okay now let us see the result okay so we see in the first row we got the result as in stock in the second also in stock but in the third record it is out of stock because total is 400 plus 200 plus 100 that is 700 and our supply is 500 that means demand is greater than supply in the third week that's why we got the result is out of stock similarly this is in stock here out of stock here out of stock here so this is how we can create this measure and i hope it is clear to you now and if it is asked you in your interviews you will be able to answer it in front of the interviewer so please share the video to all your friends and colleagues whoever are in need of this and thanks for watching the video